Prof here. Got a different build for you today. I uh, decided that we do a gyro today since I use it in most of my builds. Figured I'd show you the one that I use most commonly and how we build it. But before we start, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when these videos come out. So let's get started. So to get started with this build, we're going to build us a 7x7 seven seven plus sign. One more. And this will give us our base for the gyro to sit on. Next, we're going to build the arm that holds the thing, any bit, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And this part's kind of important. Uh, if you guys are going to paint these things, uh, now would be the time to paint the bearings. Otherwise, you're going to regret it later. All right, so we'll go to the T section. Gonna build it around. Fall off here. Both move. Okay, that's gonna hold our spindle in the middle. Building it around. E section. I always do that. Put around. All right. Come in here and drop a couple more bearings. Paint these guys. All right. And we need to switch parts here. We need to plus sign. Drop it here for a second. The only one we're using. Alright, come back and grab our bearing. Oops. Not yet. Not yet. Up. Up. Drop a wheel. Wheel. Paint. Okay, so there. that's basically the fundamentals of, of a gyro. Uh, we're going to have to power it up, get it spinning, make sure they're spinning in opposite directions, and we're going to have to get some sensors to kind of recognize these things as they move. So we'll just drop one here, here, so it'll be the sides and forward and back. Alright. E. I'm always antsy with these parts and dropping them. Alright. Up. Uh, Take out the lift here, so let's look at. More T's. These are going to hold our sensors. We need some bearings here. That paint. Up top here. Two. We don't really need the archway on top, but otherwise, it's just, I feel like it's not going to look good. We're going to go ahead and add that just for looks. All right, so we've gotten we've got that all finished up. Now let's grab our sensors. Place these inward. Again, inwards. All right, so there we go. All right, let's get it back up on our lift here. Back to our blocks. I have to chew out some of these little center pieces here. Fill in the bottom here. And grab our triangle pieces. All 
All right, there we go, all finished up. All right, so now let's cut out our center here. Oh. Okay, so I've fixed that terrible mistake and we can get back to what we were doing here. Uh, we're gonna cut the center out, but we're not gonna cut out as much as we did before. How about that? Pop an engine in. Go around with our wedge pieces. here. There's a little row down here. Get it. Yeah. All right. Roller. Now, let's connect our controller. Connect them. Well, since we're standing here, we'll just connect them on this inside. And we want them all to go positive. So that'd be down positive. I want this one to go up positive. Up positive. Down positive. That just makes it easy. Put them all on 15. And we'll change these sensors. One. What we're doing is we're just allowing these sensors that when this starts to tilt, they'll they'll pick up the bar as it comes in front of the sensors and they'll activate. And those can activate your thrusters, your wheels, whatever you want to initiate and turn on. So there we go. So now it's just we paint it. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is to hook up the tires, air bearings. That does tend to help. You want to make sure they're spinning in opposite directions. Uh, next thing we can do for this is drop a button. Hook that up to our engine. There we're max speed. Now we're functioning. Yeah, when you put this in your build, just connect the sensor. You know, want to make sure that, let's see, if it's tilting, tilting on this guy here, it's going left and right. You want to make sure this is your forward and backwards, so that this guys that are picking up here are your left and right tilt. Uh, the other ones here are going to be your forwards and backwards. And there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment, and until next time.